Hi all, welcome back to another video. So let's discuss about how to create a work center in Odoo 16 manufacturing module. So a work center is in manufacturing industries where a specific process takes place. For that, you can just get into the manufacturing module. And in order to create the work centers, first we need to enable the work center from the configuration settings. For that, you can just go to the configuration settings and we have a feature called work orders. So as you enable work orders and save the changes, you can manage with work center. You can either manage the work center from the configuration settings or you can also manage the work center from the configuration menu. So let me manage work centers from the configuration menu. Here you can see the work centers with its name, code, tag, alternative work center, cost per hour, capacity, time efficiency and OEE target, which has the default view as list and work center can also have the view as Kanban. Apart from this, you can also filter group by and set into favorites uh, by using some of the sorting functionalities for the work center. So let's create a new work center. For that, you can just click on new button. So as you click on new button, this will direct to the work center creation window and you can create a new work center. So here you need to give the work center name. So let me give the work center name as drill station 2. So if you have any tags regarding this, you can uh, add uh, over here. So this would allow you to filter the work center easily. You can also use alternative work center. So alternative work centers are no nothing but they can be the substitute work center. So whenever uh, we cannot use or we cannot produce something in this work center, we can use the alternative work center. Or for subcontracting also, we can choose alternative work centers. So let me choose drill station 1 as a work center. And under uh, those, we can also see, we can also set code for the work center. So you can set the code. This is the code we are giving for the work center. And we can also set the working hours of the work center. Odoo basically provides two options that is standard 40 hours per week and standard 35 hours per week. You can also set the default company. So as you click on work center, you will be able to see the default company will be automatically configured in this company field. Under general information, we can give a certain uh, reg uh, things regarding the production information such as the time efficiency. Time efficiency shows the expected duration of the work center and capacity which shows the, the product that can be produced parallelly in the work center. Overall equipment efficiency target shows in percentage uh, that uh, the efficiency of the work center. Speed setup time indicate the time taken to set up the work center. So let me set it as 60 minutes. Okay, and cleanup time shows the time taken to clean the work center. We can set it in minutes and under costing information, you can also set cost per hours. That is uh, the hourly cost of production in the work center. Under the description, you can provide more information regarding the work center. And we have a field called specific capacities. Under this, you can choose the specific capacities, which means what all products uh, with what all quantities or what all capacities you can produce parallelly. So let me choose a few products from here. Scope. 100 capacity. Bolt. 100 capacity. And you can also set the equipments. So equipments can be maintained, uh, I mean created and uh, maintained from the equipment module. So if you want to know how to manage the equipments, you can watch uh, the video. We have already discussed about that. So we'll be providing that link in the i button. So here you can choose uh, an equipment. So for that, you can just click on add a line. So you will get a list of equipments currently available. Here you can choose the equipment that you want and you can see the equipment is added with all its detail and the mean uh, time between failure and mean time to repair will be automatically configured. 
uh, and as you save uh, this work center, you can view this work center under the work center overview. So here we have different work centers and one of the work center in this window is marked asterisk because this is blocked. So if you want to block a work center, just click on uh, this field and yeah, you need to specify the lowest reason why this uh, work center is blocked. So you can set the reason and you can also give the description after that click on block. So it will be indicated in red color so that from this we can understand that that work center is blocked. If you want to unblock that, you just click again on that field so that work center will be unblocked. Now, um, as this is a new work center, we won't be having any planned orders and all. So if you want to get the reporting of a particular work center, you will be getting the reporting and you can also get the actions and all. So you can get the actions of the plan orders, maintenance and uh, the reporting such as OEE performance, waiting availability and all. So all these will be discussing through the upcoming video because uh, this is newly created work center. And if you want to manage the settings of the work center, it is possible to manage the settings of the work center. And uh, you can also set the priority for the work center by using the color highlights. So let me set the priority using the color highlight. Okay. So that's all about this video uh, of creation of work centers. I hope this concept is clear for you. Thank you for watching the video.